Anansi the Spider and the African Origin of String Theory. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, the basis for modern string theory was developed. The development of string theory in modern physics and cosmology is an attempt to combine all of the concepts about the four fundamental forces and four fundamental particles in nature into a grand unified theory of everything. The basic idea of string theory is that the fundamental and smallest things in nature are not particles, but rather oscillating lines or streams. The fundamental strings permeate the fabric of space, matter, and time and combine to form membranes. These membranes are affectionately called brains for short, and the combination of all the string theory concepts are called M-theory. The interesting thing about modern string theory is that it sounds very similar to the cosmological stories and theories found in Africa and even in earlier times in the Nile Valley. Amongst the Akan tribes in West Africa, some of the most important stories in their cosmology and theology concepts are the stories of Anansi the Spider. The Anansi the Spider stories can be traced back to West Africa in the 1600s and perhaps even earlier. Anansi the Spider-Man, with his symbolic eight legs, four fundamental particles, and four fundamental forces, is said to be the weaver who combined all the strings to weave the membrane of energy that permeates all of existence. The weaving of a Nazi sacred web was the motivation for the creation of the many patterns found within the African kente cloth designs. Amongst the Dogon tribe of Mali, the sacred spider is named Nana. The cosmology and theology of the Dogon people of Mali states that the first and fundamental thing created were four sets of twins or eight beings called the Nomos. One of the Nomos rebelled and to re-establish order, the other Nomo's twins' body was separated and scattered throughout the universe. To the doggone people of Mali, Nana the spider is responsible for weaving all the matter or body in existence to hold it together. In the doggone language, Nana means mother, and as Lars Scranton states in his book, The Science of the Dogon, Nana shares many relationships to the ancient Egyptian goddess Nia, the weaver, in ancient Egypt, Neith was the female counterpart or twin to another deity called Nu, along with three other pairs of twins, Nu, Neith, Hu, Huhet, Ka, Kaket, Amun, and Amunet, made up the Ogdog or Komunu, who were the personification of the fundamental and first things in existence in nature. So we see the evolution of the concepts related to the eight fundamental parts of nature from Nia the weaver and the eight Ogdog of ancient Egypt to Nana the spider and the eight Nomos of the Dogon to Anansi the spider and the web of all existence to modern string theory and brain theory. So the next time you see African Kente cloth, remember it is symbolic of Anansi the spider, string theory, and the web of energy that is woven throughout all of space, matter, and time.